Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Justine Luzzi, intuitive reader and teacher, and I help awakened and sensitive souls intuitively navigate this crazy world. One way I do that is that I put out uh, weekly readings, um, and this is actually the romance reading for the first week of March uh, 2020. Uh, I have broken them down into, I already picked the spread, and I have broken them down into three uh, types of readings um, based on connection. So the first connection is the uh, twin flame connection, the next one is the soulmate connection, and then the third is uh, for a single people, uh, so single. Um, and see what's coming up for the upcoming week when it comes to your romantic life. Um, so yeah, let's begin, guys. So uh, I always have to explain this, um, but I love explaining it. Twin flame connections are, uh, they say the other half of your soul. I don't believe we're halves. Um, I think it's the other whole of your soul, um, sharing the same soul. Um, and it tends to be a giant mirror. Our, all of our relationships tend to be a giant mirror, but this one is extra, extra, extra special, um, extra tough. Um, and it's a lot of push-pull, but it's a lot of learning and growing, um, lots of spiritual growth and evolution. So let's see what's going on for our Twin Flames this week. Okay, so first we have the drum cards. We have Dream and Journey. So basically what's coming up for this is that it feels like um, if you're in a Twin Flame connection, um, it almost feels like a lot of you guys are in union uh, as the collective consciousness, uh, but it also feels like um, you it's pretty good where you have a good connection and you guys are sharing dreams, hopes, um, uh, goals for the future. You're really connecting on the future, um, which is interesting because it's, um, it's really kind of, this card sometimes talks about the journey, but it's almost like you guys are talking about the destination, if that makes sense. So you guys are kind of talking about a future together and, and seeing how your goals align. And they do. And a lot of twin flame relationships, you can find that is that usually there's like one, um, like there's a mission that you both, because you share the same soul, so you share a lot of the same passions and purposes, that there is a mission there where you guys um, are really on, on this, are very aligned and on the same page about it. So it's almost like that there's a lot of communication about it this week and a lot of um, aligning about it this week, which is really good. Um, okay, so this one came up again. Uh, this one came up in the, in the, uh, the collective consciousness reading, and this one is pride. So, um, Okay, so pride again can be um, emotionally charged in a positive or a negative way. Um, pride, um, like, like basically it's, it's saying like, please look at all the good things that are happening within the relationship. Like look at all the good stuff, look at the positive, look at, um, have a lot of gratitude for your partner. Um, it feels really positive in that way. And also, you know, when we say pride, we're also talking about, um, have pride in the type of person that you are um and that means having confidence about how long how far you've come um which if you've been in this twin flame relationship for a long time it has probably been a lot of ups and downs so it's important to really have gratitude and really understand that you have gotten through all of the turmoils um all of the obstacles and that you guys are together because again this is solidifying that a lot of the twin flame connections are in union at this particular time um and uh so yeah definitely cultivate that this week um, but again, gratitude is coming up as well um, for the relationship. So make sure that you are very grateful for your partner and you're actually verbalizing that or showing that in some type of way. Um, okay, and then we have shaman, trust in higher forces. So basically like what's coming through is that it's so, so important that you are trusting in something bigger than yourself to, un to really have faith that this, this union is um, where you should be at this particular moment. So basically, every time I get that card, it's more about like, um, uh, let go and give it to God, basically. I always mess that up. But basically, it's saying trust in higher forces. Don't try to pull any controlling moves this week. Don't try to pull any, um, and you might try to do that, right? Because you guys are talking about your future. So do not go overboard when it comes to that. Do not be, um, guys, it's great to plan for your future, but it's also great to leave some space open for other opportunities that come your way because sometimes the how shows up differently in, in the way that, you know, we could be clear about the why and we can be clear about the who um, and the where and the what, uh, but it's really um, important that we leave room for the how to come through in, in its own particular way. So you guys talking about your dreams and things that you want to fulfill, um, don't be so tapped into um, 
con uh, attached to how you feel like it would happen. Um, so definitely, definitely it's time to let go. Um, the, it's definitely pointing to detachment of some kind and that's the best way to live, right? Loving with detachment, um, setting goals with detachment, right? This is, this is manifesting 101, right? So definitely a lot of trust needs to be cultivated this week. Okay, so it looks like a pretty smooth twin flame connection this week. Um, so if you're in a twin flame uh, relationship, um, looks pretty good. Uh, looks pretty good. Okay, soulmate, let's move on. Yay, so soulmates, they usually are, are not as tumultuous as twin flame relationships. And basically, um, they are... Uh, very calm and teaches you self-love and that's what we got self-love right um so there's definitely so that's really kind of the main reason for the connections of the soulmates is that they activate your own self-love and your own self-empowerment so it feels like it's very very much um heightened this week now it's also um i feel like this card is a little red um and a little bit of orange so what is that show us so that shows us self-empowerment and confidence and then it also shows us the root chakra which is red which means that that's usually our stability our security um, our financial abundance and things like that so all of that stuff is being super activated this week which is amazing um, and your partner is helping you to do that and you're actually helping each other to do it um, so divine feminine and divine masculine really kind of activating and working together which is how God intended it to be um, and really activating um, each other um, to do better to do better um, and to love themselves more which can you ask for anything more in a relationship <laughs> It's amazing, at least for the core, right? The core of it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so Lord, take charge with authority. So what's really coming through for this card here is that take charge with authority. Um, I'm really getting the divine masculine coming through for this card, and, and it's really a push for the divine masculine to take more of the masculine role um, and the more dominant role in the relationship. So it almost feels like it's going to be a classic, very um, good feminine and, and masculine um, uh, energy roles um, happening this week. And what I mean by that is that the, you know, this week the feminine is not too into her masculine and the masculine is not too into their feminine or, or too toxic on either sides, right guys? We've heard of toxic masculinity, but there's also toxic femininity. And it feels like it was, it's very, very good on either side. And it just feels like the, to uh, the divine masculine has to step up this week and really fill the masculine role. So this could lead to, and why this is happening is, um, the divine feminine could be having a bad week. Um, when it comes to work, family, something like that, divine masculine has to step up and really kind of move into that role of, of being the strong protector, um, and really, uh, uh, comforting uh, the divine feminine um, and making sure her feelings are heard and, and making sure she's seen, heard, appreciated, all of that good stuff. Um, so that is what's happening there. Um, so nothing out of the ordinary, but again, it doesn't feel like anybody's extreme on either way, but it really feels like it's definitely the time for the divine masculine to step out um, into that masculine role. Um, okay, and then we have, um, wow, well, we have a lot of repeat cards from the, the uh, collective reading. We have patience. Um, so when I, when I did the collective reading, um, for the most part, we've really kind of, um, as collective consciousness individuals, we have cultivating a lot of patience and it feels that way as well with the soulmates, um, is that we have, uh, between that union, uh, you have cultivated so much patience with each other. It just feels extremely loving. It felt like that last week. It feels like another good week for the soulmate connection. Um, no red flags, no, you know, fights coming up, no obstacles that need to be over overcome. Um, it really feels like you guys um, know how to argue um, in a very healthy way. Um, you know how to um, work with conflict in a really healthy way and uh, also know how to have patience with each other um, as you learn and you grow. So it feels like really good this week um, as it did last week. So that's good. All right, single people, let's jump into it. Ah, uh, compassion. Okay, so compassion. So it's so, so important that you have compassion for yourself. We also got this card in the collective reading um, and basically uh, that was pointing to more compassion towards other people and cultivating it in your everyday life. This is really pointing towards you. This is about you. It's important that you have compassion for yourself. What is coming up around that is that there may be some unforgiving energy that is still happening about a previous lover or a previous um, connection that you've had. Um, it almost feels karmic. Um, so please do everything that you can to 
try to heal um, what is happening there and try to really um, have compassion for not only that person but for yourself because you were just trying to love that person, um, that particular person. And love doesn't hurt people that don't know how to love hurt others. Um, and that's just the reality of it because it's never love that is the problem. It's never, never love, ever. Um, it's people that don't know how to love. So it almost feels like that kind of energy that you have to really kind of let that go and really understand that um, you have to have compassion for them because they, they learned love from TV, um, friends, family, and not everybody knows exactly what love is. Right, guys? Uh, let's be honest. Um, so uh, a lot of people think love is ego love, right? Um, so it kind of feels like something like that. So yeah, have a lot of compassion for yourself. You're doing a great job. You're doing well. Um, thank your lucky stars. Have gratitude that you're not with that person anymore. Um, if they keep continuing to come back into your life, I would definitely consider either blocking them or... Um, uh unfollowing them or whatever I, I, what, whatever happens <laughs> whatever happens um whatever you need to do right because your peace is more important um so i know that's kind of odd me saying that in the compassion spot but it's really about compassion for you that is very compassionate for you having no contact with somebody as you're trying to heal is compassionate towards you um okay then we have the sage card it says be devoted and committed um, okay, so this is um, this is more again pointing to yourself. So it says be devoted and committed. So that means please be committed to your needs. Please be committed to what you need out of a partner. Um, please understand that everything that you're asking for is not um, out there, um, and that you really, really deserve to um, get everything that that you truly desire out of a relationship. Now, I'm not talking about things that could be superficial, like height and uh people's looks um where obviously i know that you have to be at least somewhat attracted to the person to have a sexual relationship and a uh romantic relationship um i understand that but this is really kind of being about devoting um, yourself to your needs and not allowing your needs to be compromised again um because it feels like it has um most people i feel that are single right now have been kind of single for a while um, and that kind of almost feels like a pattern that happens to them is that they don't get their needs met. <clears throat> okay, so then we have teaching and learning. So basically what's happening here is that, um, again, another repeat card um, that's coming up here is uh, everything is a learning experience. Um, and that's exactly why it came up in the teaching. Uh, it came up in the romance a lot too, right? So um, everything is, is teaching and learning experience and it's important that we really, um, like for example, this morning I was, I was really thinking about somebody that I recently dated and uh, there's actually this movie called um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and basic, I know I'm going a little off topic but bear with me, but basically it's like a machine <clears throat> that you can use to uh, erase past memories of a loved one. Um, so if you're going through a bad breakup, like a lot of people go to this particular thing. Um, and I was thinking about that and I said, would I want to erase all of the memories from that past thing that happened to me? And the answer is always no. And if you watch the movie to the end, sorry for the spoiler, but everybody kind of says no. Um, it's It ends up being like not such a good idea because you can always learn something from it. And, and also the positive, there were some positives, right? That's why you were connected to the relationship but it's really about the lessons it's so important guys to understand that all of these connections all of these connections don't do anything for you besides make you grow <laughs> and make you learn and learn lessons um they don't complete you they don't um they don't um uh, make you whole it, it's all false beliefs about love the only thing that we have these connections for is for our evolution of our own consciousness and also for teaching and learning and spiritual growth. Um, so I'm not surprised that it keeps coming up. And it's really, really important that every single connection that you do have, even if it's not a soulmate, even if it's not a twin flame, and it's it's karmic connection after karmic connection, um, it really is about what do you learn from these 
relationships? What can you improve about yourself that you cannot attract another type of person like that again? That is the main thing that we should be asking ourselves when we're out of relationships. Um, so single people, have you learned the lesson from your last relationship? Take a look at that and make sure that you are good to go before you throw yourself right back out there. Okay. All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, it was kind of helpful to me. Um, this is the romance reading for March 1st. Uh, I'm sorry, the first week of March. Um, I will be uh, posting more videos throughout the week. And then also, if you love this content, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, I think it's over here. <laughs> and then um, also, please put in the comments if any of this resonates with you. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.